Hi beautiful people, my name is Bridget and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be an unfiltered opinions on new makeup releases. I'm going to talk about some new stuff coming on the makeup world. I'll give you my first thoughts, whether I'm into it, whether I'm not into it, and of course if our opinions on these things differ, it's cool, it's just makeup, it's not that serious. And real quick before we dive into the first makeup release, if you want to check out my small business, theopencrypt.com, where my lovely earrings are from today. I'd appreciate it with spooky and sweet things, by the time you see this video, we'll be restocking a lot of our earrings. And yeah, I'm excited to see what the future holds. I do have two new releases coming very soon that I think you guys are going to enjoy. So with that being said, let's dive right on in. So this first product is from Makeup Forever, a brand that I don't talk about much. I don't know their cruelty-free status off the top of my head. And honestly, when do they release new things? Like, I don't know. I don't hear about them much. But this intrigues me because I want to be more into powder foundations. So this is the new HD Skin Matte Velvet 24-hour blurring and undetectable undetectable is a high claim blurring powder foundation now this comes in a decent shade range i will say the there's only two dark shades which is a little disappointing but apparently this was a product already released and they are reinventing it now so the shades are lacking so the shade range could be improved if you're in the middle you are good though um so this comes with a little powder puff and a bit of powder in whatever shade you choose the powder looks pretty, but like all they show me, so there's six pictures of it, right? And none of them show me what it looks like on skin besides the swatch that shows me the color. I want to see a before and after of someone's face applying the product. And that's what makes me skeptical about this. Like you have all the opportunity to show me what this, your regular foundation with setting powder or just like regular foundation um, with the powder foundation or bare skin in the powder foundation. Usually that applied with a damp sponge, just a powder foundation, give you really good coverage. So like, why don't they show me on skin what this looks like a before and after? It's weird. Next up is from Pixie Beauty, and this is their new Stun Mist. So Pixie has a lot of skincare products. My favorite thing is their toner, because, you know, it gets all the dead skin cells off your face and stuff. Toner is really important. But this is their new Stun Mist, which is an SPF. So that's like an interesting addition to their line, which I think makes a lot of sense because they do a lot of skincare. But they don't actually have like existing sun care treatments in their line. So this is SPF 50 in it and it's a makeup fixing mist. So I don't know if you're supposed, it's it's a makeup fixing mist, which could be used as a primer or a setting spray. But if used as a setting spray, I don't think with real, like with, I, I did it right now. If I put it on top of this, I don't feel like I'm getting the SPF protection because it's not on my skin. You know, like I feel like if I used it first as like my a mist primer, because usually these things have glycerin and you can use it for both. And then I did my makeup and then I set it again. Like I feel like because it was underneath my makeup at first, it would use, it would do the SPF thing. But just as a topping setting spray, I don't see it working with the SPF. But it's probably better than using none in the first place. So this is $15. It's affordable price. I'm interested to see what the like reviews are of this. And they also have some after sun face mask treatments with aloe vera, cucumber, and chamomile in a pack of three. I'm a sucker for a setting powder. And I told you I'm trying to get into more foundation uh, powders too. So this looks beautiful. I think it's the packaging. I think it's the packaging. And then the display picture is like the fluffy powder. This looks really cute. So this is from Dominique Cosmetics. And this is the Smooth and Blur Setting Powder. It is restocked, so apparently this has been out for a minute, which, because I get a lot of Domini Cosmetics in subscription boxes, maybe we'll get in a subscription box. I don't know. Maybe. I'm hoping. So the Domini Cosmetics Setting Powder Smooth and Blur is $22. It also has a new pink shade, um, which is really nice, and it restocks on February 24th. So it has a smooth, blurred, flawless finish, uh, mattifies without clogging your pores, long wearing, I love a setting powder and this looks fluffy so I want it, but I don't know if I need it. You know, like again, we might get in a subscription box, we get a lot of other stuff in subscription boxes. Obviously not everything, but like this looks pretty, but do I need another powder? Next up is from ColourPop. It's been a little bit since I could think of a new ColourPop release, so this is fun because at one point there they were like pew, 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 releases after another. But, you know, this, this is like a little bit of a separate one. I feel like I haven't seen one in a minute, which is interesting. So this is the new Snow White collection. This uh, collection is in collaboration with Disney, of course. It has a pressed powder palette for $22. Love's First Kiss lip kit for 20 
a whole bunch of lip luxe lipsticks, luxe glosses, a different lip kit, Sh Super Shocks blushes for $10, a lippy scrub for $12, and a magic mirror for $14. You can get the full collection for $99, Good vs. Evil bundle $35, Fairy Tale Wish bundle $42. That was a lot of <laughs> things. There's a lot with the collection. You know, you can kind of pick and choose what you want or buy the whole thing. So let's talk about it. I think the packaging's adorable. I think it's very pretty. I love the lip scrub being shaped like an apple and having a poison apple on the box. I think that's really cute. The palette is beautiful. It, it's uh, like I had, to, I had to swallow real quick because I was like, this is shockingly pretty. I think it's a little weird that there is a random blue because like there should be more than one blue for this palette. Like you think the color scheme, you obviously think the blue, but I feel like one blue in the palette, what are you going to do with it? Unless you pair it with the black, which I guess you could. I love the reds in here and the little bit of yellows and then that white shimmery shade. I think it's super cute. I really like the magic mirror. Uh, but I don't, I need to be actually, I need to be actually able to see out of the mirror. It looks like there's an imprint on it. I could be wrong. That could be the back of it. But like, it's adorable, but I know I don't need it. It's adorable, but I don't need it. I'm trying to be good, but um, yeah, there's a black, white, red, and yellow in this palette though. So, you know, I, I, I quite enjoy it. This next thing I'm confused about um, I'm confused about where this brand is in general, like where their place is right now, but this is Kylie Cosmetics and this is Kylie Jenner teasing a new product, a black mascara. This brand has been around for years, okay, years. They don't have a black mascara? Or is this such a new black mascara? Because even when she's using it, like it gave some length to the lashes. But her lashes don't look very full, so I don't feel like it's the best tease for it. Or do people just buy it because it says Kylie on it? I don't know. I do know that like Kylie Cosmetics is in Ulta, but it's only like some staple products. The majority of her like limited edition collections and stuff are just on Kylie's website. And I don't see a lot of people reviewing it or people like just talking about it in general. So I'm interested to see what they say. Let's see what the comments say i'll screenshot it and i'll put the comments that i see here um it says don't let michaela see this i feel like such a negative nelly on the last few makeup releases but i'm honest meh it's really hard to justify kylie prices when drugstore mascara is so good i agree my favorite mascara is five dollars and it's that essence last princess in the green packaging i've tried the other ones they're fine but the green one is supreme and it's five dollars you know um and i know this is gonna be more expensive because it's Kylie. No thank you, my $9 L'Oreal mascara is great. If there's one makeup item you can find at a drugstore a reasonable price, it'll be a fantastic product is mascara. There's no way I'm paying extra for her name to be slapped on it. None of these picks are selling me on a mascara, I'm gonna be honest. Yeah, I don't feel like they do much for like thickening of the lashes. You see some length, um, but like it's not very thick. And I, I like like some some chunkiness to my lashes like not super spidery but i want him to be obviously that i have mascara on but if you're going for that natural look maybe you'll like it but again drugstore mascara is bomb like it's the best product the drugstore is gonna be your mascara probably next up is some new little tiny little nine pan palettes from huda beauty they've had some really pretty ones in the past so these are the new matte obsession ones there's more of a taupe and gray purple shades and then there's more of a warm one now, these look really pretty. The warm one especially is like, oh god, they're both really pretty though. They're both really pretty. The, the warm one is really like, give me those orangey yellows that I love, but the gray, like gray slash purple shades and the other one are like everyday shades for me. So they both look really pretty. But you know why I'm not gonna buy these? Is cause I think that I'm gonna love an all matte palette and I've bought them before. And I'm like, oh, you know what? For simple days, I don't need shimmer on my lid. I can just do something simple. But then when I do my face and I don't have a shimmer on my lid, I feel like something's missing. Or I feel like, oh, my lid looks kind of raw or bare and I feel like I'm missing some shimmer. Like even if I'm doing a subtle eye look, if I'm going to do an eye look at all, why not put shimmer on it? So I'm not going to buy these for that purpose. But if you can rock just like some brown in your crease and not want to slap something on your lid, you are stronger than me because I, I just need the shimmery stuff. It's like completes it, it's 
brings it all together. Especially because my face is mostly matte other than highlighter. This palette, I feel like I've talked about I don't know if I don't think I've talked about it. But I've seen it because someone tagged me in and I was just looking at it for a drastically long amount of time. So this is from Cosmic Brushes. I don't know this brand. I don't know if their quality is good. Um, but at this point, looking at this picture, I'm not even sure if I care. I'll probably just take the chance on it. This is from Cosmic Brushes. This is the Muse palette. It has 20 shades, 12 matte, 8 metallics, 1 iridescent, 3 duochromes in those metallics. Like, um, it's just so beautiful. Well, you know what it is? It's these low light photographs where they just put a flash on the shimmers on an arm swatch. The flash makes them look like so metallic and so pretty. Um, and the, the color scheme is really cute. Like I like the mix of greens and kind of a blue greens, a little bit of lilac, a little bit green. Like it's such a beautiful color scheme. And the low light photographs where the flash really shows off. I don't No, I'll put it on the screen. <laughs> the flash really shows off how metallic the shimmers are. That's what does it. And you know what? I'm going to fall for it every single time because it looks gorgeous. And I really want it. Like, how much is this thing? Does it tell us how much it is? Oh, it's 18. It's from the UK. I think I want to say pounds. But if someone told me I was wrong last time I said pounds. 18 or $23 US. Um, so the fact that it's only $23, I feel like I need to order it. I will wait till you guys tell me what you think before I do that but I feel like I need to order it. Okay, next up, I was slightly uh, unaware of why in the last Unfiltered Opinions video, Rihanna was releasing a new liquid lipstick with a football on it. Okay, I'm not in the know on the sports. Okay, I'll, I'll go to a baseball game. I'll go to a baseball game all day long, but I'm there for the snacks and the drinks. Um, and I, can, I know I understand baseball, so I can follow it if I'm looking on the field, right? I can follow that. I'll go to a baseball game. I have never been to a football game. And, oh no, I've been to one. I've been to one. Because it was free. And I'll, I'll probably never go to another one because I don't understand football. So I didn't know Rihanna was doing a, a Super Bowl halftime show performance. And that's why she was releasing a lipstick with a random football on it. I didn't know. Okay, so y'all made me seem kind of dumb in the last one. And that's cool. I just didn't know. <laughs> I'm not in the know. I couldn't tell you a single team that's been the football Super Bowl in the last five years. I don't know this stuff, okay? Um, but <laughs> with that being said, I didn't know about the football, and now she's releasing the rest of the line of those liquid lipsticks, and I'm here for it. Okay, I really want them. So this is the new Fenty Icon Velvet Liquid Lipsticks. Fenty's packaging on these looks so gorgeous. It looks so pretty. I just want to, I just want to buy them all. <laughs> they're so beautiful. So there are five different shades ranging from a light nudie pink shade to a brown to a deep red. The packaging, stunning, gorgeous. These shades are so me. They're so me. Maybe not the pinkier one of the reds, but and maybe not the lightest one, but three out of the five shades, like I feel like I need like this brown one. Are you shitting me? This, I keep trying to show you my phone screen, but it looks very dark because it's bright outside. This dark chocolatey shade, Breadwinner, I, uh, I need it. I need this shade. I love the HBIC Red Garnet Red shade, beautiful. And then this Riri shade, which was the one that released with the football on it, but now they have in regular packaging too, which is like a pinky nude, kind of like I'm wearing today, but a little more pink. Like a little mauve too. Love love and the packaging's gorgeous like i heard people saying that like 2016 makeup trends with the full highlighter the full highlighter and the matte liquid lipsticks is coming back in which is great news for me because i've never left that style of makeup like i love matte liquid lipsticks i don't want to touch my makeup out throughout the touch my makeup up throughout the day i don't want to like have to eat and reapply my lipstick i want it to stay and highlighter is just gorgeous and makes me feel very satisfied when i see that on my cheek so you know what? If that trend's coming back, I'm right on trend. Some would say I'm early because I never left the trend. <laughs> Anyways, you guys, that is it for today's video. I kept it really short and sweet because there really hasn't been too much released recently. Um, so yeah, thank you guys so much for joining me. Let me know what you think down below. For me, I really want the Fenty Liquid Lipsticks and that palette. The Cosmic Brushes palette. And it's affordable too, so I feel like I need those things. I really like Domini Cosmetics setting powder, but I know of a setting powder. 
Um, but yeah, anyways, thank you guys so much. I hope you enjoyed. Let me know what you think down below and I will see you in the next video. Have a lovely and safe day wherever you are. Okay, bye guys.